Hello there, everyone. My name is Mo, and in this video, I want to provide you a quick update uh, about our Smith Maneuver portfolio that we have with Quest Trade. For those who may not be familiar, a Smith Maneuver is a legal technique available for Canadians that as long as they have the right set of mortgage, meaning a readmissible mortgage on their uh, principal residence with at least 20% equity available in their property, they would be able to turn the mortgage payments, which is a non-tax deductible payment, into a tax deductible one. This technique allows Canadians to eliminate their expensive non-deductible mortgage debt faster uh, than what the banks would have them do. And as a result, uh, through that process, generate valuable tax deductions every single year, and then borrow that money and the equity to invest for their future. And the word invest is so important because you can't just tap into the equity of your home and then use it to purchase uh, your needs and wants, but rather it should be used uh, for investments, whether it's investment in stock market, real estate, or other type of um, you know, income producing type of investments. Through Smith Maneuver, there are some techniques that you could deploy to even accelerate it even beyond what is the typical ways of applying this technique. For instance, if you are investing in assets that produce dividend income, you could borrow, use that dividend income to pay down your mortgage debt faster, then repurpose and reborrow that through the built equity in your home and reinvest it, accelerating that whole process of you know, converting your bad bad debt in this case, like uh, the non-tax deductible debt to a tax deductible debt even quicker. Now, the focus of this video is not necessarily a deep dive into a Smith Maneuver technique per se, but if you're interested to know more about it and learn more about the different type of accelerators available for you, I highly encourage you to check out two videos available uh, by Darren Warris. It's an interview between Darren Warris and Robinson Smith. Robinson Smith has the book called Master Your Mortgage for Financial Freedom, which I highly uh, recommend as well for those of you who are interested to learn more about Smith Maneuver to definitely check it out. You can borrow it from library or find it online through Amazon or other uh, bookstores. Back to the main focus of this video, which is uh, our a review of our own portfolio with Smith Maneuver and where things are at, how much money we've borrowed from our own um, HELOC, Home Equity Line of Credit, and where things are at with it. Uh, for those of you who have been following the, our journey, you know that at one point I started uh, by uh, buying into and investing in V equity. And then later on, uh, at one point, I even had some shares of and some dividend paying ETFs. Later on, and most recently, I switched uh, my funds from V equity and ended up to opt for X equity. The reason I did that was mainly for from a sense of a consolidating my finances. I wanted to make sure my portfolio overall looks cleaner. Other than that, V equity and X equity are pretty much similar. Both of them provide an easy all-in-one approach asset allocation ETF, which allows us to invest in the stock market uh, globally in a rather diversified manner, both in terms of ge geographies as well as different sectors. Looking at the portfolio that we have here, currently showing a total of $109,330, majority of which pretty much is invested to the penny uh, into uh, shares of X equity. We have a total of 4,200 shares of X equity, and we have only about $4 left in cash. We have borrowed some more funds from our HELOC, uh, which I believe is going to be deposited into this account, transferred from my bank. It usually takes about one day from Scotia Bank to be paid into my cost trade. Tomorrow, uh, that amount, I believe, is around 1500 that I, I plan to repurpose and buy more shares of X equity in the market tomorrow. It's also worthwhile mentioning that recently we received our dividend income distributions from X equity, which based on our setup in Questrade was automatically reinvested. It ended up uh, us for us picking up additional shares of X equity automatically, full shares, and added to our current holdings of X equity. Looking at the percentage of return, today was a good day, a green day. X equity shares went up by close to 0.6%. However, overall, we are showing to be down by 2.5% for our shares of X equity at this time. Lastly, for those of you who may be interested to see our entire portfolio for my wife and I, we are sharing it pub publicly and transparently uh, through a Google Data Studio dashboard that I've developed. I've provided the link in the description of the video. You can easily check it out and get to know where things are at with our own port investment portfolio. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching this video until the end. 